Hello and welcome back to Chasing RV Sunshine. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified when our next videos are out. We finally left the driveway and obviously that's Joel's truck and not the RV, so very exciting. We had a fabulous first weekend in the RV away from the house and enjoyed it immensely. We did have a few mistakes and uh, some bumps literal bumps. Um, we don't have to put bloopers in this video. Stick around to the end and see what Joel did. Joel, Deb, and Maya here welcoming you to join us in our journey for Chasing RV Sunshine. Hello, today we are sanitizing our freshwater tank. We first emptied the whole tank and then we are now filling it back up with a bleach solution which is recommended uh, at the proper solution. Um, and then we'll let that sit for several hours um, and then rinse it out a few more times. Our first purchases was these zero G water hoses that are flexible and a lot more user friendly. Other things we bought to get all set up were some quick connects for our hoses so it's easy to connect and we don't strip out any of the uh, fittings while we're constantly connecting and disconnecting. So all you have to do is Quick connect right in there, easy to go. We also have those at all the other ends of our hoses so we can disconnect and connect onto whatever we need to do. We still have to put one and get one set up for the tank flush so it's nice and easy. We also bought a Y system uh, to hook up to the uh, water system uh, so we can have water running to the RV and then if we also want to wash the RV or hook up to the black tank flush, we can do that again with quick connects without having to Take too much time connecting and disconnecting. The other thing is a water pressure gauge and um, system so we can set the water pressure coming from the main water source coming into the RV so it's not so strong that it'll blow the pipes out. We did get the one that we can adjust it to the pressure that we want so we're sure what's coming out of the, out of the campground system. Joel has flushed the fresh tank and we are currently filling it with water from our house. You're able to see what level it's at and Joel is inside the coach right now monitoring the control panel to see how full we are before we travel for the first time. The flushing of the tanks was successful with the help of the supervision by Maya playing with her Wubba. We are rolling out. We have everything packed up. Maya and I are in the chase car. We don't have tow capability set up yet. Joel's in the lead. Maya and I are in contact with Joel via radio. Can you repeat what the goal is for today? Go fast and take chances. No, it's go slow and take our time. I'm sorry, I have static on the radio. We are so excited to be out of the driveway and heading south to a campground for the first time. We did have a couple issues while driving, which included as Joel rounded a corner, all the stuff falling out of a cabinet and having to stop for a porcupine that decided it needed to cross a road. Yes, it was a porcupine, not a chicken. So this was bump one in our travels. Not a big one, but it was still a bump. We arrived safely and had no issues backing into our beautiful site. Here's Joel hooking up the water and there are the deer. As Joel was setting up the water and electric on the RV, Maya and I walked down and said hello to our new neighbors that are in the deer park of the RV park we stayed in. Maya never let the deer bother her and did a great job making friends. The full setup of the RV for the first time went very smoothly and we we're excited for the rest of the weekend. Couldn't wait to see what the weekend was going to bring. 
the next morning we woke up i turned the coffee pot on and found we had no water it's a good thing joel is a pre-planner and had pre-set the coffee pot and had filled it the night before the temperatures had dropped down under freezing and the hose from the faucet to the rv had frozen solid joel did throw a tarp over the main line and used a heater from the rv to defrost and unthaw the hose line with the great supervision from maya along with the deer joel was able to unthaw the lines as it was Mother's Day weekend, I decided to use our sharp convection microwave for the first time and make chocolate chip cookies in her honor. My mom had passed away six years ago and miss her every day. The chocolate chip cookies was one of her favorite things to make everyone and all friends and family remember my mom's amazing cookie. I found the use of the convection microwave extremely easy and user friendly. Because of the small size of the microwave, I did have to buy smaller baking pans as none of mine from the house fit in it. First, you preheat the convection microwave by selecting preheat and the temperature and hitting start. Once it's preheated, you place your pan in and do the sign of the crust over this. This was the secret ingredient of my mom, and she advised any time baking, as long as you do the sign of the cross, it'll never burn. Now that the cookies are in the microwave after preheating, you then select convection, the temperature again, the time you want, and hit start. I found 11 minutes was perfect for my mom's cookies in the convection microwave. And what's your job in all this? Quality control. Good as ever. It's been 24 hours that we have been out of the driveway and this has been a huge success. Yes, it has. It's been a lot of fun and it, not too many difficult problems so far. There are a few small things that we forgot to pack in the RV. It's nothing major, um, but I definitely needed to have put in measuring cups. It was number one. And we do need to buy a set of lightweight bowls and plates just to keep in the RV for temporary use right now and maybe permanent use. Yeah, I mean, so we don't have to keep bringing stuff in and out of the house whenever we go out on these adventures. But the campfire is wonderful uh, and we're enjoying our day. We've had a few walks with the dog and she's been playing with her toy. So we're going to sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of the evening. And hopefully a few deer will wander by. There's a couple laying down over here about 25 yards away just watching us. But uh, there should be more coming. So us and the dog get something to look at. As I was enjoying the fire while Joel went to look at the water connections again, I heard a loud thud and ran over there and found him laying on the ground. Luckily he was okay and I will let him explain what happened so when you're in the bay working and you're bent down manipulating the stuff and you think you got it all set and you, you get done and you turn to walk away it won't get you here or here but right here and what's this for now this is the uh, Joel protective foam apparently now that we had to install because that was the second time I hit that this weekend. The first time I hit it more over here, this last time right on the seam. Well, we've gone inside and now Joel has cooked us fabulous steaks for dinner. We are looking forward to eating that, otherwise, good night. Good night. It's been a great day other than you know, hitting my head on the slide out. But other than that, it's been a great day and uh, looking forward to more. <laughs> and we got water. And what's for dessert? Chocolate chip cookies. Overall, we had a fabulous time and enjoyed this campground immensely. 
We learned a lot on our first trip out and hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and leave a comment as to what we could do better or what you'd like to see in future videos. Thanks for watching and miss and love everyone.